Oh, we're at our Eugene backyard repair. We don't have the mic on today. So, uh, forgive the audio. It was a little low. Anyway, get ourselves here. Uh, what is this? A Homolite Mighty Light 26 VT. Uh, lady up the street bought a tractor from her. It was nice enough to give this one to me. It was laying in the backyard. Uh, I took the end off of it. It didn't have a weed whacker head on it, but I have a guy that work at, uh, if you watch my Troy build video, that uh, his Troy build uh, was not fixable. Uh, I think his head might fit onto this home light. So, we'll see if we can get it to run. We'll see if we can get it to run. If we can, we'll, we'll give it to him. Guess, uh, first thing is just put some gas in it. You never can tell. Get my bottle of premix here, 50 to 1. What's it? It's 40 or 50 to 1. Tip her sideways here. I'm going to pull that air filter off after I get some fuel on it. Hang on, I have about 25 out of the bottle. Hang on. <laughs> We're going to get a funnel this time. Don't need to fill it up. We just need to see if it's going to work. I don't like this air filter. You got to go get a wrench to take the cover off. Yeah. All right, hang on. Let me get something to get this off with. All right, we got ourselves a just a nut driver here. And there's one missing, but anyway, try to guess it's a five, yeah, it might be a quarter inch. No, it's five sixteenths. Five sixteenths or eight millimeter. Try that. All right, it's not either that. All right, saying, hang on a second here. This is an oddball. Ah. Uh, it's not a six. It's not an eight. All right, hang on. We'll bring you back in a second. There, I gotta see if I can find something that fits this. Way to go with your Chinese home made home light. It's a seven millimeter. In between. Awesome job. Awesome job, home light. Everybody sending all the stuff overseas to get made and. Uh, they're making it all right. They're making it in the junk. This, this, this one has no filter in it. I'm not sure if it's pushed, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, put my finger over the cover right here and blow off some of the dirt. Dirt's off of it. It's got a screen on, on, on the end of the carburetor here. I don't know. Everything can be so cheap anymore. Maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't have one. Alright, we gotta put the parts. I figured there would be a washer on that, but I don't see one. I lost it. I swore I put a washer over here too, but I probably just blew off the bench with the air gun. Yeah, here it is. Nope, it stuck to the filter. Well, when it blew off the filter, I dropped it. Looks like it's got. I was gonna say a lock washer, but. Doesn't seem to be. I don't know. We'll put it back on though. Yeah, I don't know why you would need a lock washer when you got a nylock on here. 
But hey, whatever. Pretty sure the Chinese didn't spec out this thing, they just built it. Yeah, choke, run, full choke, I don't know. For full fuel? Choke? I don't know, I don't listen. Why it has a button up here. Well, let's find out. Guess I should have pulled the plug. I hope this came off, it was not. It was pretty dirty. Uh, let me grab something to get this plug out. Hang on. Got a plug out. She's a little, whoops. She's a little dirty. Smell like water. Turn that off. Get the thing plugged in here. Off of the wire wheel, that's a branch wire wheel. Try it one more time. Try the cylinder out. Yeah, there's water or something in there. Get that blown out. Yeah, it'll give you no room to get the get the socket in here. The wire's so short in the coil it's breaking away. We're gonna just hand tighten this because I just want to see if it'll pop. Let's turn this choke off. Maybe I'm sucking it in Check for spark. I don't know what went wrong with the weed whacker, but like I said, she gave it to me, so can't really complain. I see if there's water or gas on here. Doesn't look like anything really. A little moisture. Hmm. I'm not gonna check for spark. Hang on. You really can't get down there to touch the plug, but I'm thinking. Shove that down in there, that'll touch the metal, and then I can touch the end with it. Oh yeah, she just park. Probably should spray some uh, brake cleaner or something in this cylinder to dry it out. carbon built up on it. Grab a pick. So a little carbon on the cylinder but not too bad. Now nah, it's nothing that's gonna come off. Alright. Next we're gonna pull this cover back off and we'll see if we spray it. Let's try it one more time. person is going to, I'm going to charge him for it. I'm just going to give it to him. Their fuel circulating. Puts it on. Uh oh, I heard something. Put that guy choke. I heard something. Didn't choke off.
All right, we'll plug one more time. Make sure I'm just soaking the plug down. Not too bad. There's a little carbon build up on it, though. I don't like that. Got nothing really to clean it off with. Plug. All right, we didn't have no plug, so uh, we'll put the old one back in. Let me take this cover off and uh, see if we spray it. Whoops, not that way, I'm not. <laughs> it could be a dirty carburetor, like I said, I don't know. It's, it's not like it was mine. I don't like this choke system we got here. <laughs> it's a hole, a hole, or another hole. How does that work? Oh, I see. It's just a flapper. These are covers. The cover it doesn't cover the cover. Real high tech. Nice carbon choke cleaner. Looking for a little starting for it. All right. Yeah, that might have been a little too much. I swear there's water in this, uh, this engine. It, does, it seems to pop right the first time and then it won't pop again. Plug's still dry. It looks dry. It's like a spark. Ooh, Here popping, or it's working. I get a little start for the reading the cylinder. It's possible it has low compression and no compression. A little, uh, what's it probably about 25 cc, 20 cc's? Mm -hmm. All right, 26 VT, we're gonna maybe 26 cc's. They're not hard to pull over, so you can't even tell if they don't have any compression. something now. Try putting this choke system back on here. Where's the fire? There's hope. I'm not sure about that lock washer. It's awful big. I don't remember there being one on here. I wonder if this is sitting on the floor. It doesn't make sense. I always got a friction washer in there. A friction washer. Let me take that off and look at it one more time. Looks like it only had one washer on there. So it just dropped. Unfortunately on the shop floor there's lots of stuff laying here. I swear it only had one on there. Try it the other way. Because they're both friction washers. One's got that uh, waffle pad into it, so it's a friction this, the drag. And then the other one's a flat washer. I'm pretty sure that you, this is made so you can tighten it down. It's pretty tight. See, that's full choke right there. No joke. All right, half joke. That water has to pop on the engine. Back to full joke. I wonder if I can let it idle. I don't see no other adjustment on this thing. <laughs> so 
Oh, maybe there is. Hang on. I tell you what, it's hot out here today. I got the fan on, but uh, only one side working. This one you can't do anything to it. Design screws in it. Getting closer. Find a Phillips screwdriver. Nope, flathead. Got it. Turn to that time. Like I said, these jets are not, there's no slots in these jets, they're not even meant to be adjusted anymore. Kind of have to lose parts this time. Yeah, you can't even get to them. Yeah, there's nothing here, there's not even, there's no slots, there's nothing. Uh, takes a special tool to turn them. Uh, kind of blowing off. It only sucks air around them, but either it limits the amount of air that's being sucked around, so. Sometimes. You get a little, uh, car cleaner. Which you not, and then you knock the straw off the other side just because, uh, it was fun. You get a little car cleaner. You spray around them uh, jets. Sometimes it'll break up the dirt that's down around them and uh, it'll suck air in. It only sucks air around the jet and it blocks off how much air comes in. And it might get better as time goes on the more you run it. Get that fuel sucked into it and start cleaning up stuff. Uh, only dropped one. Yeah, I just would like it to run a little bit smoother. Like you said, I'm gonna give it to him for free. He's had me work on his weed whacker a couple times. Uh, I had fixed it. 
That's the Troy Bill video. The last time there was not fixed, well, he still gave me a couple dollars for, for working on it. And she's on. Folks, one free wee whacker. Like I said, I like thank you for the lady giving gave it to me, and uh, you know, I appreciate it. Uh, so pass on the good karma and send it to somebody else that can use it. I don't, I don't, I don't need to make money on everything. Hey, I'm putting some souls back. Put the tools back as I'm done with them. That way, I don't forget the. Uh, I guess when you go to the pickup process, go to pick up the last tool, and you remember, hey, you're straighten this spark plug up. And then get on it. Don't need to go crazy with it. Make sure you hear a click. Stuff back that I was using. It's all black. Alright, there you have it. She's a she's a runner. Oh, <laughs> my tripod's stuck here. Hang on, where can I get that one legger here? Right. If you got any information out of this, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, it wasn't too much of a repair video, more of a will it run video, and uh, yes, it will run. And uh, like I said, we're gonna pass it on to somebody else. I'll show you the end here. It's got these holes here, so you can put the attachments. It's got a little button pops out the hole. You clamp it down. Uh, here's the here's the head off of it. And, uh, there is there's a button I was talking about. There's there's no end on this one, so it's not really good for much. We'll throw it in the, in the horde over there. I actually got a couple weed whacker ends over there, but I don't think any of them got any, uh, heads on. But anyway, like I said, uh, got any information on this, please like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. You can check both of them out. Picture Park projects, funny videos, uh, screenshot shares, uh, stupid people I find in the public. <laughs> I might just film it. Uh, Drift Grill, Drift Grill's on my, on my Instagram. Sometimes you get some on YouTube if we can get it to do a long enough video. Anyway, go check all them out. Please, like I said, uh, hit, that, hit that notification bell. And them comments really help to, with the algorithm. So, uh, if you comment, you would please. And we're out of here. Peace. It's clean. I mean, I washed it off, but it's still, it's still pretty clean. All right, we're out of here.